All right, let's get the show on the road. Welcome to this week's hands-on review of the one and only Feel World FT6 FR6 5.5 inch wireless transmission monitoring system. Let's do it. Now in this review, I do want to start by stating Feel World did send me this system in this unit. However, I promise I am not going to be biased here. All that being said, let's dive into the review. So talking about just the overall build quality of the product first and foremost, absolutely love it. Like it just feels, there's a bit more weight to it. It's not like crazy lightweight, but I like the feel of the weight. Like this thing just feels really durable and cumbersome. You know, this thing really seems like it's gonna last for years. Even the antennas, you know, I love how they built the flexibility into them. So many other wireless systems just have a straight up antenna. There's no build or flex to them. And so oftentimes when you're putting it away with other gear or you're going from one location to the other or just moving things around on set, these antennas can easily get broken because they're so stiff and stagnant. So I love that there's mobility and, and flexibility with the antennas that come with this unit. So we have a thread port. Obviously, you know, if you wanted to throw this on a light stand or if you wanted to throw it on top of your camera or something like that, you could do that. So we have DC um, power as well. So we have a type C port. So if you wanted to import LUTs, so super cool feature as well. Additionally, it's a touchscreen. Love that aspect. So very, very fast and intuitive to change and alter settings. You know, you have your power button, you have your back buttons here to remove batteries. SF, SF 9070s um, battery slots here. So you can run two batteries at once or just one. Menu part here to switch through and navigate around in the menu. You have up to 11 different channels you can choose from. Here we have an HDMI in, HDMI out, and we have a headphone jack as well as um, DC in 12V. So typically with other brands like Teradek or Hollyland, you have to use one to two monitors and then their own personal transmitters and receivers. What I really love about Feel World in this whole system is how much smaller, intuitive, lightweight, and mobile it just is. Like, it's super fast, it's easy to use, it's lightweight, it feels durable, and it's super, super mobile because it's just two units right here. Super fast, super simple, and super easy to use. You can easily hold it and you know direct and do my thing one-handed. Again, I have a thread port so I can throw it on a light stand if I want. And additionally, it actually comes with a side handle. So if I wanted to throw the side handle on, I could use that, hold it there. Build quality is strong. Battery life is strong too as well. You know, running two batteries on the back, this thing can last me a solid five to six hours hours, one battery, two to three, kind of depends. Then obviously if I'm doing like DC power in, you know, I'm never running out of juice, which is great, but obviously mobility kind of gets taken away then. So it defeats the purpose of this kit for me personally. Lastly, talk about the latency. Pretty dang solid. I noticed very little latency with this device. I actually recently just did a commercial piece, which you guys are seeing a lot of footage from, in which I actually directed and AC'd. So I was directing as well as pulling focus on this project all at once. Now, if any of you guys have ever AC'd or pulled focus for someone that's operating, you understand that's a very difficult task to do, especially when you're running with an aperture around 2.8, 2.2, something like that. Very, very easy for that person or product, whatever you're focusing on, to go out of focus. Being able to have something that has super low latency allows me not to worry so much about, am I gonna be in focus, is this accurate? It allows me more so to focus on what am my talent doing? How can I better direct my talent or my camera operator? So it was really, really easy for me to be able to essentially swing and, and do two different positions at once, which I don't necessarily recommend, but you know, I was able to make it work and, and we got some incredible content, all because of this reliable, trustworthy, and great unit. However, I do wanna talk about the negatives. <laughs> One of the big negatives for me with this kit is the NIT, the NIT. When you're working with this thing out in the sun, it's difficult to see. If you're in a studio or some kind of controlled environment where you don't have as much light hitting onto the screen, it's not that big of a deal. But filming outside, it was definitely difficult to deal with the sun and the reflections. The, the NIT value just isn't super high, so we don't have a super bright screen. So it's very hard to compete with the sun and therefore it's just hard to really see what's going on. However, what I would say is again, it's a pretty dope kit. So it comes with a nice little sunroof here. 
Um, so, you know, if I was directing, I could monitor through here and this is gonna help me control the light a bit more and, and get better vision of what's going on on my monitor, my screen. But again, guys, I do really wanna reiterate, this is only doing so much. When you're out in the summer and bright midday sun, this isn't gonna be your saving grace, guys. So it will help you, it will benefit you. It's a nice attachment they provide, but it's not going to save the day. So it's not, not reliable outside in the field in that sense. My second biggest concern is the issues I had with connectivity. We were filming in a studio that was surrounded by very, very big concrete slab walls. And I don't know how much experience you, know, you as a viewer watching this right now have had with wireless transmission systems but an often issue you'll have with that. Or for example, if you're even using Bluetooth or wireless transmission to control quasars or Astera tube lights, you can have issues just like this. Well, I haven't explained it yet, <laughs> but the issue is connectivity. And so the problem is when you deal with big concrete walls or things that really don't allow for transmission signal to go through, it disrupts the signal, it takes it away. And so at this studio, we did have some issues getting our system connected because of these giant concrete walls. Eventually we were able to make it happen. But again, my, my big concern was that it took us about five to six minutes to really get connected. And when you're on set, five to six minutes is a very big deal. And it's terrible to be making your clients sit and wait for five to six minutes. It, it just can feel like an eternity. Additionally with connectivity, I did talk to um, some of the representatives at Field World and they, they told me that you could only view through their transmitter at a 1080p signal. Now that's a little disappointing. I'd prefer the 4K. However, I wish that was something that was clarified a lot more directly in the instruction manual or something with the device. So I knew that beforehand when trying to connect. Now, with that being said, I'm sure they're gonna be releasing some upgrades um, and bug fixes to hopefully allow that to be different. I wanna clarify that there's not a connectivity issue in the sense that it's going to always struggle to connect. But I do want you to be aware that in different environments, different scenarios, it is going to take a couple minutes to connect. Now, my last concern with this unit is it is HDMI in and HDMI out. I don't know why, but they did not include SDI in or SDI out. That is very, very frustrating for me. I personally use an Ursa Mini Pro G2, which solely functions with SDI in and SDI out. So I am unable to connect this kit to my Ursa Mini Pro G2. Therefore, it's really just a monitoring kit that I use when I'm using my B cam, which is a Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Or for example, if my client picks a smaller camera package and a lens package, well then I will use the Pocket 4K as well. Um, and so kit works great. Um, I absolutely love this wireless system with my Pocket 4K. I just wish they included SDI. So one, I can use it with my Ursa Mini Pro G2, but also, I don't know about you guys, but I have found SDI to be so much more reliable when it comes to transmitting signals. All right, and in summary guys, you know, would I recommend this kit to you as a filmmaker? You know, I would say if you're seasoned, if you've been in the industry for about five to six years, you have a professional cinema camera, um, maybe you have one that only does SDI, or you already have your own wireless monitoring system already built out, I don't think you need to go ahead and jump in and get this. However, if you are new to filmmaking, if you're in your first one to three years, and you're really looking to upgrade not just your gear and capabilities, but your client and just in production experience, this is an amazing kit for you to purchase. You're looking at about $689 plus some tax, um, so around $700 to get this fully functioning operational wireless monitoring transmission kit. Now, that is very unheard of, guys. Again, when we look at Teradek or Hollyland, some of my other favorite brands when it comes to wireless transmission, let's say, for example, Hollyland, they've got the new Cosmo C1 system. Um, that's about $800 or $850, something like that, by itself. Now on top of that, again, you need a monitor for your camera and a monitor for the director monitor setup. So you're looking at, let's say, at least $500 for each monitor. So you're looking at spending about $1,800, bare minimum, before you get going with Hollyland, a uh, Hollyland wireless transmission kit. Teradek, even more expensive, guys. So we're talking about literally less than half the price, like 40% of the price of what it would take to get started with a higher end kind of production setup. So this is absolutely incredible kit, guys. 
Again, very, very minimal to no negatives of this. You know, the biggest is just for me, I can't attach it via SDI. And then again, there will be some connectivity issues in regards to the time it takes to get connected. Now the connection stain, there's no issues there. I love how the signal stays strong the entire time. No glitching, no stopping, no freezing. It's absolutely incredible in that sense. But again, it will take you a couple minutes to get connected if you're in an environment that has very large brick or stone or concrete um, walls. That's pretty much it for complaints, guys. Plenty of positives. I'm talking the price. I'm talking the mobility, the durability, the, the efficiency of the kit, the touch screens. Absolutely incredible. I don't want to keep rambling. I love this kit. Check it out, guys. And if there's anything I didn't touch on, if you have questions or concerns, drop them below. Be sure to subscribe. I got more reviews, cinematography breakdowns, and so much more coming every single week. And I just want to let y'all know, I love you. Take care. Cheers. She!